So you want to roll glide. Get ready. Dig deep into those pockets because uh, these things ain't cheap. This is what you should know. You're what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Kind of want to make this video talking about everything you should know before buying a Rogue Glide right here. This is my 2021 Harley Davidson Rogue Glide Special. I absolutely love this thing. This is my favorite bike in my garage. There's just something so special about this bike. The memories I have made on it so far, memories I have yet to make, um, the destinations that I'll be reaching with her, and um, Overall, just its looks, it's just, she's beautiful. Now the main reason why I really wanted to make this is because it's December already. We're basically a month away from Harley Davidson dropping their 2023 models. Uh, they now drop the models in January. And you are probably wondering, hey, what bike will I be getting for 2023? Which which Rogue Glide? And if you're watching this video, it's because you're interested in Rogue Glide, not anything else. So, hence Rogue Glide. Now, believe it or not, there are six variations of this bike. Yes, six. Now, I have all the variations of this bike lined up for you by price point. Now, up first, we have the Rogue Glide Standard with the 107 coming in at $21,430. That bike is only gonna come in chrome. It's very stripped down. And if you are looking for a transformation type of project, in my opinion, is the perfect road glide for you to get. It's the cheapest when it comes to cost. It already comes with the shorter bags, which right now everyone's kind of leaning towards the shorter bags over the stretch bags that the special comes with. Now, a few key features that this bike is not gonna come with, like I said, shorter bags is gonna come only in that chrome option. Um, the whole inner fairing, is gonna be matte black, and it's also gonna come with a different set of wheels, amongst other little features here and there. Next, we have the Rogue Glide Special, which I have here. This bike is gonna come with the 114 instead of the 107 on the standard model. Now, with this bike, you're also gonna have two additional options. So you could either have it all chromed out the way I have, or if you want all your components all black, that's a secondary option. So price point on this level kind of gets a little tricky. The starting price point on the Special is 27,000, 449,000 for a vivid black. Now, if you want a different color and you want that in the black finish, which is gonna be more than the chrome, the price point is gonna be 28,954. Now, if you want a two-tone the way my bike is right here with the red and black or another two-tone option, which they offer, you're gonna be paying $29,379. So three different price points with the special already. Next, we're gonna have the Rogue Glide Limited. The Rogue Glide Limited is gonna come in at $28,725,000. It's also gonna come with the 114. You're gonna get the tour pack on there. You're gonna get the lowers in the front. You're gonna get a much comfortable seat, higher suspension, amongst other little features here and there as well. Next, we're gonna have the Rogue Glide SC, which was very, very popular last year after its launch for 2022. Um, that bike only comes in, last year it came in the Gunship Gray and also in all black. That comes with the bronze wheels. And that's also gonna come with Harley Davidson's biggest engine, which they offer from factory, which is the 117. Now, unlike the other bikes that I just mentioned right now, this bike is only gonna come with a solo seat. The Special and the Stand and the Limited come to up ready, which is great, but obviously, you don't care about that if you're looking at an ST because an ST is more performance driven. Now, next up in fifth place, we're gonna have the Rogue Glide CVO. CVO is supposed to be top, top, top of the line. You're gonna get a crazy paint job right there, very unique. You're gonna get a lot of more add-ons on the CVO as far as infotainment system with more speakers from your regular Rogue Glide. With two more additional speakers on the bags in the back. Upgraded speaker system on there from Rockford Fosgate heated grips, um, and alarm lock system for your bags, which comes on the key fob, different wheels, different seat, different windshield. Everything on this bike is just more special. Everything's different. Those are just a few minor things that are different on that bike, but it, it, it's just, it has so many little hidden gems in it, and it's just a very special bike. So if you want the top, top, top of the line and money isn't an issue, then that's the bike for you. Cause this bike comes in at $41,899. Now wait, there's also a six option here, which is top, 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 top. And if you want more storage and more comfort for your road, then 
you're gonna go with the Rogue Glide CVO Limited, which comes in at 44,000. 899 so this is just your limited version as a CVO um, and that's yeah that's that's gonna be the top of the top for you so obviously a lot of different options when it comes to price points they're all gonna be very very different um, and you know what let's just get into the main reason why you would want this bike and that is because you are either coming off a smaller bike, a soft tail, a sports tour, and you just want to get on the road, you want a touring bike, you want to do some long miles, or you want to be comfortable on it. That's kind of the main reason why people get these bikes. It's more comfort, you're going to have storage, you're going to have a big infotainment system in the front, it comes with navigation, you have your music. You're also going to have a six gallon gas tank averaging around 43 miles per gallon. This bike is going to have that big shark nose fairing in the front, so a lot of wind protection when you're on the road. Dual disc front brakes, anti lock system a ton of other technical stuff including the electronic linked braking system now these bikes do look really cool they look awesome already but just like any other Harley Davidson they are super super customizable as you can see mine here in the back I've done a ton of stuff to it we got the Baja lights in the front we got the clockwork windshield on top I went ahead and I got the ST chopped fender in the front got a color match really really nice it kind of opens up the wheel in the front it gives it more of a look I got that spoiler right here going down the front frame. Um, I went ahead with the Empire collection, which includes the mirrors, the floorboards, uh, the passenger pegs in the back. I got the Santoro crash bar in the front. I got the Screaming Eagle and the Olin suspension in the back, which is awesome. I got this awesome LaPera tail whip two up seat right here, which is really comfortable, really, really nice. I also went ahead and I got a full Chromework exhaust system, which sounds great. CVO conversion rear fender on that, which looks amazing with the lights going down. Absolutely beautiful. I also got the Arlen S T bar set up with the gauge relocation on top. Um, the Empire Collection heated grips, which is a plus. If you're gonna want a bagger, I really, really recommend you get in the heated grips. They're just amazing. And after you use them, you won't want to use any type of other grips. This bike also right now has a Screaming Eagle cam in it, so giving you a bit more power. Um, amongst other little things that I've added here and there, it's uh, it's a never ending project and there's still a ton of stuff that I want to do to it. Um, within the next week or two, we're going to be installing uh, a brand new stage two kit on it from fueling. So look out for that video. Now my bike also came with the uh, RDRS system, which I absolutely loved. I kind of saved my butt once or twice already. Um, and, it, and it's great. Uh, also a rain mode on it, so, which is also a plus. Uh, so a lot of cool cool features on it. It's definitely a, a bike that you're you're gonna enjoy. Um, it's definitely a bike that you're gonna want to take for the road if you're looking to do long trips. It's a perfect bike right here, man. Um, this one doesn't obviously the special doesn't come with the tour pack, but if you want to go ahead and add a tour pack afterwards, Harley Davidson also has those options where you can get different size tour packs. Or if you just want to go all out, just get yourself a limited. But when it just comes to customizing any Harley Davidson like that, it's just the options are endless. And let's just say you don't want this bike for just long trips. You just want the bike because you like it. And that's honestly the main reason why I bought this bike is because I love the looks of it. I, I just love the fact that it comes with storage already. It comes with the music system and it looks awesome and it's super comfortable compared to other bikes. So to answer some of you guys' questions, do you only get a bagger when you want to do long trips? No, you just want it just for your daily commuter. It's a great bike. If you want it for your weekend riding, it's a great bike. If you want it for a long distance, it's a great bike. Or if you want it just to have it, go ahead, it's a great bike. A few things you should also know is that if you are gonna be buying parts for this bike compared to let's say a low rider ass or something, parts are gonna be a bit more expensive on a bagger. Parts for baggers are more expensive than parts for a dyno or a soft tail or any other smaller bike just because everything on here is going to be bigger. So this bike comes equipped with floorboards. Floorboards are more expensive than just regular foot pegs and they're bigger so they're going to be more expensive. Um, if you want a T-bar setup and you're going to want to most likely change the gauge relocation system, it's going to be a lot more money. If you want to change some fenders around or get different parts, everything is bigger. It's going to be more money. So yeah, we're working on these bikes is a lot more expensive than it is to work on the other bikes I just mentioned. Now these bikes are also a lot more heavier than 
a soft tail or a dyno or whatever it is and once you get them on the road, they're they're pretty easy to handle. Some newer riders are, you know, riders that have not been on a banger kind of get intimidated by the size of these bikes. And let me tell you, uh, me, I'm on the shorter end. I'm 5'7", so I'm not too tall. Um, get on this bike, it's, it's it's pretty easy to handle, man. It's Once you get it going, it's just like any of the bike. It's really easy to handle those twists and corners. It's... the once it's rolling the the weight just really doesn't doesn't matter too much now for slower maneuvers and yes it comes a bit trickier now a few other little things you should know about this bike when it comes to uh gas consumption it, on paper it says it averages around 43 miles to the gallon um that all depends on how you ride obviously and that also depends on the type of work you have so if you're gonna have a stage two stage three a lot more power you're gonna be burning a lot more fuel um, navigation. Navigation, I love it, uh, but I honestly prefer to plug in my phone. This bike does come with a USB, so you're able to charge your device. Um, I, 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 I prefer using the, the navigation on my phone, on my uh, iPhone, better than this one, because this navigation kind of, it's not the best at times, I, 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 I will say that. What I do like about the infotainment system is that if anything was to happen, or if you want to go to any nearest Harley Davidson, you just you have the option, and it, and it leads you to the closest nearest Harley Davidson. It already has it in the maps, and it's I, I think that's pretty cool, pretty yeah, pretty cool. Like I mentioned before, it also comes with cruise control, which is an absolute plus when you're out there doing those long miles. You get to rest your wrist and your hand, and it's 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 a plus. You're also gonna have that big fairing in the front for that wind protection. I'm already used to. Riding bikes only with fairings, like a, it's just something about, yeah, it's from it's just more comfortable, you know. You don't have that wind beating on you one day, and uh, you can enjoy your ride a bit more, you know. Bike is also gonna come to up ready from the standard all the way up to the top of the line limited, except for the ST. Like I said, the ST is the only one that comes with a solo seat, and that is because that bike is more performance driven. So if you are looking for a bike ready up for two with the passenger pegs already on it, stock seat is okay. It's not, I mean, it's it's okay. It's a stock seat. There's always better options out there, but it comes equipped ready for, for you and your passenger in the back, which is a plus. Now, as far as things that I don't like about this bike, I don't know, I think that should be its own video. There's really not that many stuff that I can say, oh, I don't like about this, or so top three, top five things that I hate about my road glider, which we might do that. Um, it's really not that many, like I, I absolutely love this bike, man. That's gonna pretty much be it. I hope I was able to answer some questions, and I highly recommend anyone out there who's even thinking about, you know, getting this bike, just go to your nearest dealer, throw a leg over her, and see how it feels. Um, there's, if you're looking at the road glide, like I said, there's six different options to choose. And if you don't want a road glide, you want a street glide, then you go down that path as well. But this, this is it here for me. And if you guys still have some questions, go ahead, drop them down below in the comments, share the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And if you want to see more content on the road glide or my little rider ass on my FXR, we got a lot of stuff coming in the next few weeks so tune in we are a month away from Harley Davidson releasing their 2023 models and I am super excited for it I want to see the new colors I want to see new options see if they're gonna come out with any new tech on it any other options different engine sizes whatever it is but super eager for that um, if you want to see more news on that then tune into this channel because we're gonna be going over everything I want to catch you guys on the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.